Welcome back, everybody. Now, hopefully, this music is not, is not copyright. I have no idea if it is. But welcome to Star Ruler 2. It's a bit of an older game, but it is a super solid game. Now, one thing you can note is that it is an open source game. Um, you can support the original dev team by purchasing on Steam or good old games. I recommend good old games over Steam, but hey, do what you want to do. It doesn't matter to me. Now, this game is in, it's an interesting take on a space empire management game because you there's like an interesting logistics chain. It has the coolest ship building I have ever seen. It's pretty simplistic in terms of its execution, but man, you can do a lot with it. So let's uh, start a new game. And it has been a very long time since I've played, so I am going to play as one of the easier groups because the game can be tough. Um, if you want to go through the lore, there's a whole bunch of lore in every one of the races that you can choose. There's uh, customizable options you can do in the race. I'll just show you. If you want to customize, you choose like your guy. You choose the type of ship hulls you you make. There's all different kinds, some weapon color skins when they shoot their guns, and then um, there's these traits. So you go to personality and you get some points that you can you can do, and you can have different types of governments, and there's different types of actually moving around space. So, you know, fling beacons, you go to the beacon, they fling you somewhere, hyperdrive, you just fly their gates, you travel point to point, boom boom, slipstream, kind of point to pointy as well. And then jump drive, you just, you, you jump within a range. So you, you go and you teleport, essentially. It's pretty cool. So, um, you know, and then there's sublight, which means you go the slow way. It takes you bajillions of years to get everywhere. You can get more points by doing these things. And then you can choose the type of uh, bonus you have on your on your starting world. And, like, the different specials you get so like population grows well, then the mothership if you want to do a star children you can do mechanoids you can be all these things so yeah there's there's many many things so um yeah i've i did some testing <laughs> using fling beacons apparently yeah fling beacons let's back up let's back up we'll go new game and i'm just gonna play as the terrakin so you get an idea of what the game is like we are nimble so we have extra speed no extra bonuses for our planets. We're using a, uh, FTL hyperdrives. And we start with a carrier. And then we have a bunch of cards. Let's get going. Um, well, we'll just play with three players. Uh, Spiral Galaxy, sure. You can actually do multiple galaxies. You can, There's so much customization. In this game, uh, yeah, this is fine. Go, go back. This is all, all good. Revenant parts. We don't want to dis disable these fleets. This is this is all fine. How do I? I don't want to add more galaxies. I want to go back to the other screen. Uh oh, I forget. I forget, and now. I've gone crazy. Reset page defaults. Shouldn't there be like a button? No. No, I don't want to do this. Go back. Ah, crap. <laughs> I'm loading my autosave. I tested it back uh, a few days ago, like last week. This is this is what I got. <laughs> this isn't <laughs> this isn't what I want. <laughs> New game. Terrakin. Play Terrakin. So when I click on the type of map, whatever, we'll just play a spiral galaxy and we'll start the game. It's fine. It's fine. We'll do this. The Federation of the Fist is sublight, so they're nice and slow. Okay, how's this game work? There is a mechanic of real time to this game. There's a bunch of um, resources that gets spent. Okay, we got defense, knowledge, FTL, energy, uh, influence, and money. You don't spend money. You have a budget. Okay, any of the excess budget goes into one of, one of these things based on whatever you are doing. Okay, if you put it in public works, it spends it on your home world. All right, so we go to our lovely little planet here. And uh, how do I... 
do how do I open this planet? We go click on uh, manage planet here and you can see it has a factory that generates labor. There's a pressure system in this game. The pressure system is how resources are moved around. So it's not done in hard numbers. It's done through pressure. It's supposed to simulate an entire economy. So, you know, you can build orbitals, you can build buildings, you build all kinds of stuff. Um, they all have costs to them. I think this is like cost to build, cost to upkeep, I think. So you don't really want to throw out too many of them. We have one factory because you don't want to go negative on your budget because then, you know, you can't get like excess influence and stuff like that. Um, barracks gives us what? Reduce maintenance on desert biomes. This is not desert biome. And this thing only makes 60k dollars. Okay, well, let's just run the game a little bit. Okay. So here's our planet right there. If we zoom out, you can see here's the galaxy. There are two enemies we know. Here's our fleet. How fleets work is you have a capital ship and then you have a whole fleet of support around it. And oh boy, does this look great. What a beautiful looking game. So cool looking. All right, so when we're in our fleet, we um, need to look at, what was that button I do? Manage supports. So in the manage supports, you can see our, our capital ship can hold 483 units. And currently we're rocking this, we're at 90 gunships. Okay, well, one of these guys is a gunship. These, I think these big ones are heavy gunships. I think uh, this guy, I don't know, your beam ship. Wait, are you a beam ship? Um, yeah, you are a beam ship. You little guy are a gunship. That's a heavy gunship. So you can see there's just a massive support fleet next to our, uh, our guy here. And oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I cannot get over how beautiful this is. It is beautiful. <laughs> Man. Okay, so we go to designs and then let's have a look at our heavy carry. This is what the design screen looks like. And you'll see there's like, here's the thing, and then here's all this red, and here's all this purple. What is all this crap? So, basically, here's the system, and here's the expansion to the system to make it bigger. So you have a core unit, right? And you can see in the bottom right corner, there's some stats for it. It's a DPS 707. Reload takes 4 and a bit seconds, does 38 damage per shot. Right, whereas this beam gun, so this thing has no like arc, but this beam gun, or laser, does uh, 35 damage per shot, shoots every 6 seconds. Sorry, yeah, shoots every 6 seconds for 6 seconds, so it locks on for 6 seconds, and over that 6 seconds does 35 damage, it's wonderful. And then you have engines, the engines, they have, um, where's the actual thing here? Thrust 478 for this engine. So it's the main core piece plus all the little bits. If I wanted to uh, make it bigger, what does the ion engine do? Turn rate, lower thrust, requires power to run. Ion thrusters, exhaust are very small. It can easily rotate. Oh, neat. So this is how you build things, right? You just throw it down and then build. Um, I don't want any of this, so right click to get rid of it. But if I want to make this engine bigger, it's intuitive. It just knows. But I don't I don't want to change the ship. So we'll leave the ship as is. All right, let's talk about diplomacy. Diplomacy uses your influence. And there's cards. Over time, this card disappears. A new card comes in. Every 27 seconds, it's going to start shifting out cards. These cards do things, right? Employing as a team of skillful negotiators. You can convince a number of members of the Galactic Senate to support your cause. There are votes that happen constantly. These votes do stuff. Um, and here's all the proposals and treaties that happen. So you need to negotiate and do things as you go. There are other uh, cards like this one. This one, target owned planet gains a native fruit. So for 10 influence, I can buy it for 7. But for 10 influence, influence to play, I can put a fruit, a food, onto a planet. Which is pretty good. Let's talk about planets for a second. So here's your planet. Planets require resources to grow. If I, uh... Actually, I need to go... Whoops. Need to go to the actual planet. So let's zoom out here. Ooh, let's get uh, our bearings. 
So go to Manage Planet, and you'll see here the tiers. The goal, get your planet to be bigger. Bigger planet means more population, more everything. So in order to do that, we need one food for every tier. Uh, now this is a food planet, I believe. Yes, yeah, so this one produces grain, so it's automatically level one. And it comes with water because it's your starting planet. So it comes with water, has a grain on it, so that's what it produces at level one. There are different tiers of stuff, so like food and strategic resources are all level zero. But uh, if you get these tier one resources, you can see the list there. That's what we need to get at level two. In order to get a tier one resource, though, you have to have the planet to be level one already. So you can see that there's going to be a chain, which is why this exists. And let me just show you. Um, don't I just, yeah, escape. Okay, we'll run the game. And what I'll do, I need to colonize this. I need to colonize this. This is a tier one resource. So if I right click on it, colonize and auto import and you'll see that ships start to fly out little colony ships from the home world which has two population on it and it needs to send one population to each of these now we also have minerals morphic materials and ore I don't know if I need those specifically but I am going to uh, uh, you know the first thing to do I guess is to build a couple scouts. So let's do that. They cost 42,000 each. So I'll just build, you know, I'm gonna build one and then a miner. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm gonna grab our heavy carrier here, manage supports, I'm gonna say auto buy, which means this guy is going to auto fill. Um, oh, more beam ships, I have 30. Yeah, I want it to fill up. Um, yes. Create more ships. If I just add 10 bean ships to this. Whatever, I'm just going to let it autofill as it needs. And we're going to start grabbing some influence. So that's what we're going to do. Um, also, there's another button. I think it's like F, I think. Well, you can see the fleet at a glance here. You can also see that the scout has been built. Scout, I would like to explore using FTL. Good luck, have fun, go explore things. I'm gonna have him go and explore things too. Use the hyperdrive. Get over there super quick. So he's gonna go and he's gonna hyperdrive. Look at that, look at him go. Ah, oh, so cool. He's just going to blast over there. So once you get a lot of hyperdrive being produced, you can actually go quite far and quite fast. Boom. Look how fast he's going. Compared to this guy. See, he's going normal speed. He's going hyperdrive mode. Yeah, so we just spent a bunch of hyperdrive to get him over there. But bam, there he is. And we got some quartz. We got some other stuff. And uh, he's... There he is. He's outside the sun. So we'll just get him to go here normally. And this guy's on auto drive. Oh, hello. There's remnants. Go murder them, please. Attack them. Get the auto core, and I would like all this food and stuff. We're still trying to upgrade this planet. Uh, did we colonize it? I think we did. Yeah, it only has two spots here. It's losing us money. But that's okay. We could lose money for now. This is our home world, and we're going to make it better. So we can see here pressure capacity. So we have zero of two. Pressure causes the civilians on this plant to put down buildings to generate certain types of resources for you. The amount of civilian structures a planet can support is limited by its pressure capacity. If the pressure capacity is exceeded, lower efficiency. Yeah, pressure capacity is two, and we're not using any pressure currently, so they don't have any reason to build anything, so they're just building cities around as they grow. All right, so I need, I'm gonna need a water, so I'm gonna colonize this. I'm gonna colonize this too. 
That's a... It says fruit. Okay, whatever. I'm going to colonize that. Is this not tier 1? No, that's not tier 1. And then I'm going to auto colonize this. And then we're going to grab this titanium and send it to the world. So as this titanium grows, your auto working? I think your auto working. I think. So as this planet grows, our tier 1 planet, it's going to get to level to two, and then it will export its uh, its material over. So if we look at planets now, you can see the chain that we're starting to build. So I want to get this level, I want to get them up to level uh, two, our main planet here. Like, really bad. And we have this, I need another food, actually. So let's um, colonize this. There we go. So if you just drag and drop, it's going to work. Oh, there's a battle! There it is. There it is. The big fight. That's what it looks like. It reminds me of uh, an old 80s um, anime. Yeah, it looks like we're winning. Yeah, it looks like we're winning. We lost some supply doing that. So we'll have to go back. And I think we lost some ships too. Uh, if I got to manage supports. What did we lose? We lost some gunships. We didn't lose any of the big boys. Uh, we lost actually a little bit. That's okay. That is okay. Gain some stored energy when picked up. Can you pick this up? Please and thank you. What do we got? Espionage probe. Activate the espionage probe for energy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't said hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and most importantly, use the link in the description for freecash.com. Using that link gets you three loot boxes that have up to $250 in them. Doing surveys daily earns you free cash. That's how it works. Um, let me just explain this thing in the corner here. So this is your kind of at a glance planner. This is all the colonization efforts we're currently working on. You can see it matches up with what's going on here. Right? You got all the little arrows. Everything's going to colonize. Um, this is pressure? Yeah, over capacity. So you're over capacity right now because you have no population. Yep. Yep. Generates labor per minute. Look at that. It uses four labor pressure. Yeah, so this enterprise here has actually put us over capacity. We just need population, which will generate more capacity for us. And it says that we have one resource available. So we have one food. The music of the game is so good, too. Let me turn it down a smidge. That's too much. It's fine. Uh, we're basically going to be colonizing as much as this, as possible, but we just require some time to get uh, get food, get planets up to high levels, because they'll they'll do things. Are you actually mining this? You are. It was 7.3 before, and eventually we'll see some people. So you can see here we have two at a zero influence. If we go to diplomacy, we have two influence we can spend. But we have zero coming, we have zero capacity to hold it. So basically, whatever our budget is, we're getting, that's where we're getting our points from. I'd like to get up to six, so we can get this here. It would allow us to name the planet, which would receive two max population and one labor generation, which I think would be pretty good. The other thing is name the flagship, giving it 16% damage ability. Naming system would give us 20%. If I can get that, but I can't. Um, we can just pay for this to get three influence, I think. Or this gives us money. Um, energy clash. You can spend energy in a diplomacy. We have Zeitgeist cooperation going on. What does this do? Um, if the vote passes, the most supportive empire to this vote and any other empires that are not currently at war with them gain 10% of the upcoming budget estimates as special funds every minute for the duration of the zeitgeist. Hmm. So if I oppose it, um, I'm the lowest contributor because I haven't, I haven't put a single vote to it. So if I throw this at it, let's negotiate. I could put two votes against to get 600 FDL. Wouldn't that be nice? Or I can put two to it, 
Okay, let's play in support. There we go. So I am now the most, because I know the other guy is just one. Now sometimes you can you can play these votes. Um You can play these votes right near the end if you just wait for it. Yeah, somebody else just added two. I'm actually gonna wait until the end and throw in two more. This is kind of like a <laughs> it's it's kinda like eBay. You gotta wait till the last minute to play your cards. These guys are gonna do it anyway, because they just threw a two card on it. So I can throw a four card on it and ensure I win. Or I can just throw another two card, which will also ensure I win, because then I have four down. And funny enough, we found these guys. <laughs> um yeah. So we're going to just wait 40 seconds. You can speed up the game. This play offer support. Uh, this is trying to offer things to get people to support or oppose. So you can convince the other guys to do things. Actually, it's uh, telling me I'm the highest contributor because I have a star. Um, yes. So I'm, I'm going to win this. I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to wait. Four, three, two, one. No. Oh, we're good. We got it. Proposal was accepted. We are the number one guy. Look at us. Look at us. So for five years, there's a zeitgeist. Go back to diplomacy. So that's going to give us 10% additional budget every time. And we found these guys who are... They have more victory points than us. Oops. Um, where are they? I have no idea. No idea. What am I looking at here? A debris field. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of stuff in the game that I just don't know what it is. Let's um, scan the anomaly and then we'll head back. Um... So I have a second level one here. I don't have a food though. Are we... Where are we sending ships? Are we sending ships here? I thought... Um, we're three three population. Why is this not being colonized? Colonize it. Oh, I thought it was gonna auto colonize. It didn't. Okay. Well, that's that. Uh, you're just jumping around all over the place. I probably need another scout. And the question is, do I need another building? No, we're way over capacity right now. I need to get this to level 2. I'm just trying to get this thing colonized. Here they go. You can see them in a line here. So these colony ships will do their thing. Now, if I go to... If I go here. Let's go back. Is there a colony ship? No, I can't make my colony ships better. better. Uh, we can look. So, you see... You see here. Gunships, heavy gunships are size 8, beam ships are size 4, missile boats are size 2, gunships are size 1. So this all impacts the stats of these little support ships. Right, so you can just see they got a little bit of armor, they got a little bit of health, here's their stats. Right, they take 5 control out of 12, so I can actually add more stuff to them. There's storage, there's crew decks, so there's lots of things. We're not going to build a ship yet. We're not quite there, I just want to get the economy going. What am I doing? Let's, uh, let's actually go to 1.2 speed. Let's go to 10 speed. Let's get this planet. It's holding us up. So we're going to throw this down here. And then I'll need... I need this scout. Go over here. We're just burning time right now. Okay, let's slow it back down. The Zeitgeist Progress. Ooh, got another vote. What does this one do? Plus three. Ooh, the most supportive empire will receive a three bonus research. 100% I need that. 
This guy's winning with two. I think I have the most votes, so I can uh I can win this vote. Let's just go a smidge faster. There's a minute left here. So if I throw down the four, I'm gonna win. If I throw down two, that's not enough. So I'm gonna spend three points, throw down the four, make sure I win that to get us some I could oppose it too and get a ton of energy, but right now that'll give us research. And yeah, research we haven't touched yet because we are not producing any. <laughs> that or defense. So we'll just wait for a second here and make sure this gets up. Now you can do this faster than what I'm doing, but uh, I'm not because for the sake of the video and for the sake of my brain, I want to make sure we're doing this um, properly. I actually could put our excess money into research, but... I don't really feel it necessary. We will vote for... It's 10 seconds left. Play and support. 5 seconds. Do it! See how badly they want it. Now I should say I'm the winner, right? It's one of the highest contributors. He's not, though. The most supportive empire will... Hey, wait a second. I was the most supportive empire, you jerks. You stole from me. Alright, we're going to name our planet. Sinon. That's going to be this one. And then... Do we have anything else? It's enhanced to. There's a spy. Annex system is pretty good to have. Profiteering we don't need. There'll be another card in a second. Could just name our flagship. Make it stronger. Energy clash is a thing. Yeah, we're uh we are behind. We are behind. Move there. Tons of stuff here, okay. There's uranium here. Go to these debris fields. Okay. Um Civilian energy generation. Colonize this. I can colonize all the planets here. This will give us some food. This. Oh man, we just got food and water. Colonize and auto update. That's all in here. We're going to have you explode with FTL, please. What do we got? Some pretty decently strong remnants. But there's a level 2 that I have to get this. So I need to um, have a look at diplomacy. Yeah, we got to name our... The Beowulf! There, you're named, sir. There's some infiltrate. There's annex system, which is really good. Card can only be played if you're glad to send a leader. And it's system for seven. I would like to get this, but it's too expensive right now. I don't have the money. Alright, let me slow it down to normal time. Um, so here's my problem. We are water light, so I definitely need to get this. And I'll definitely need to get... Um, what do we find here? We found... Uh, come on, show me the probe. We gotta zoom in. It's an ion cannon. An equipable beam cannon that can temporarily disable enemy ships. And FTL. Oh, interesting. Planet is still in the process of forming. So I can activate this to get a tier 2 plan. Oh my, that's so good. If I can't fight here... Okay, well, I need to get all this stuff, that's for sure. Aluminum will be good. We'll get this quartz. So quartz will just give us labor per artifact, so the more quartz we get, the more we we have. And we'll import that here. We're going to import this here. Um, let's go look at our planets to make sure things are happening properly. Okay, Sililium... High yield. 
Oh, interesting. It's going to give us energy and quartz. So I have here the extra food, plus two tier ones and one water. Oh, the timer. Okay, well, you know, I'm going to continue this playthrough. I don't know how long I'm going to run this playthrough. I need one more food here. Oh, wow, you built a bunch of industry. We have pressure cap now. So if I grab another food... Go to planets. Tropical paradise. Well, put that over here. Here's a food. Do these need to be level 1 to export? I have no idea. These, this planet has 10 bonus labor storage. It's pretty good. Whoops. I'm going to buy the Sanic system for six. Just in case. Patriotic Surge? What does this do? Extra labor for defense ships. Ancient knowledge gives us a vote. Psychic's power. Plus two energy. I don't really need this. But if I vote against it... Oh, these guys are voting against it. Vote fails. The most opposing empire. You vote a four against it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Alright, well, I'll see you in the next episode. And we'll um, sort out how we can start getting some tech. Basically, I need to take the excess funds and put it in tech. I think I'll just do that. Throw in the research grants and we'll start getting bonuses to our ships and our factories and stuff. Flagship health. Those control computers. So you got all kinds. Here's the whole tech tree. Tech lattice. And uh, we can get all kinds of different things in here. Obedience, loyalty of planets, orbital construction, so many bonuses, so many things you can get. Shield hardeners, antimatter generators, wow, provides power, extra engines, different types of cannons, you name it, you got it. So we'll see you in the next one. We'll play, um, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to make, but uh, maybe we'll play the whole way through. Depends on how much fun I'm having at the time. So, see ya.